everyone this video is about my first dog friend ever Oreo to be honest I wasn't a dog lover before our family had a dog named Leslie yes the same name as my husband coincidence but I was very young then I can't remember any fond memories of our family dog I knew he was there but no one-to-one -one relationship of that sort no talking no petting all this changed when I met Oreo three years ago. She was my friend Jane's dog. Oreo was a Chin Chu, a Chinese breed, considered to be the emperor dog. She was a beautiful dog with her auburn white fur and cute little face with big dark eyes looking at you with kindness and love. She was simply adorable. I got to know Oreo when I stayed at Jane's place for four days after Jane's hip surgery and then a couple of times when Jane and Oreo stayed at my place when they lost power due to storm. What I love about Oreo is the way she looked at Jane when Jane was talking. She appeared like she was interested in what Jane was saying or with our conversations. Funny that she was always quiet, never talk about herself, even if she could, but she appeared to listen intently to us talking about ourselves, our problems. My other favorite looks of Oreo when she saw Jane and I coming home or entering the door after a few hours at the doctor's office or grocery shopping. She has the look of longing, of pure joy and peace. I love it. I also adored Oreo's solemn look when Jane and I have to go and leave the house. She has that look of fear that you will not come back when you go out the door without her. Just recently, the last time they stayed at my house, when they lost power again due to a storm, I knew that Oreo wasn't feeling well. There was something wrong with her. She wasn't walking well. She wasn't eating at all while she was here at my place. She wasn't her usual self. Jane told me that Oreo has been in and out the vet's office and had kidney problems. But I know in my heart that something was really wrong with Oreo. And the next day, Oreo's vet called and told us to bring her Hello. immediately to the animal hospital at Cornell in Stamford where she was admitted for three days. After three days, the doctor gave Jane a very poor prognosis for Oreo. Jane decided to bring her home and spend quality time with her at home. And um, a couple of weeks ago, we lost Oreo. Right here was the last time I saw Oreo when we picked her up from the animal hospital, she wasn't herself, she wasn't engaging, she looked tired and just wanted to be by herself. She wasn't even looking at us. And after two weeks, we lost our dear Oreo. And last Friday, August 28th, we said goodbye to our dear Oreo at Riverside cemetery in Norwalk, Connecticut, brought some flowers, and we had a simple but heartfelt and wonderful celebration to honor this beautiful creature whose fault is just her life was too short. She was so loving, giving all all that she has for, for Jane and for everyone around her, not asking anything turn. It's true that dogs are not our whole lives, but they make our lives whole. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Someone said that, I read that. That, that dogs has given us their absolute all. We are the center of their universe. We are the focus of their love and fate and trust. They serve us with nothing in return for a little bit of treats. It is without a doubt the best deal man has ever made. 
There's another one. There is no faith which has never yet broken except that of a truly faithful dog. So I usually tell that a man is good if he has a dog who loves him. And Jane is one of the kindest and honest good people I know. Jane read this beautiful poem for Oreo, Rainbow Bridge Poem. There is a bridge connecting heaven and earth. It is called the Rainbow Bridge because of its many colors. Just the side of the Rainbow Bridge, there is a land of meadows, hills and valleys with lush green grass. When a beloved pet dies, the pet goes to this place. There is always food and water and warm spring weather. There the old and frail animals are young again. Those who are maimed are made whole again. They play all day with each other. There is only one thing missing. They are not with their special person who love them on earth. So each day they run and play until the day comes when one suddenly stops playing and looks up. The nose twitches, the ears are up, the eyes are staring, and this one suddenly runs from the group. You have been seen, and when you and your special friend meet, you take him in your arms and embrace. Your face is kissed again and again and again and again, and you look once more into the eyes of your trusting pet. Then you cross the rainbow bridge, never again to be separated. Farewell, my furry friend Oreo. Grateful to have known you. In a short time that we have known each other, you showed me how it is to give unconditional love. You gave it all to my friend Jane, and she did it for you too. Your bond with Jane is as lasting as the ties of this earth can ever be. It was beautiful to see. You filled our hearts with gladness and love. You will forever stay in our hearts. We love you, Oreo, till we meet again.